Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Queenie from Jamaican Queen. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Hope you stay. And if you're all, thank you for the support, okay? Let's get into this video. Today, I will be showing you guys and telling you guys places that you must visit when you go to Jamaica, okay? I'm gonna start off with Wyas Falls. So Wyas Falls is located in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. And it if you're a nature lover, you will love this place. It has a big, beautiful falls. They do canopy rides, okay? Um, they have a beautiful garden. They have pools, hot and cold. <laughs> I know, in Jamaica, you're like cold, but... <laughs> Yeah, for the citizens, it does get cold there. So if you want something cool and you're visiting, we do have a, they do have a cool pool um, and one that's heated. Um, so yeah, Wyas Falls is a place to go. I'll link a picture right beside me here. Um, me and my husband did visit, <laughs> did go to Wyas Falls on our last trip to Jamaica. We're, we're dying to go back, but because of the pandemic, we're not sure when this will happen. So... Let's move on to Black River. A little bit of history. Black River was the first place in Jamaica to receive electricity. And this happened in 1893. Okay. So if you're looking for the best cocoa bread, the best cocoa bread the island has to offer, you have to go to Black River Bakery. It is simply amazing. Not only for the food though, we, they do, I like to say we because I'm Jamaican, oh. uh, they do, <laughs> they do safari rides, so they'll take you up the safari and you'll get to see crocodiles and you'll get to see your tour guide do stuff like this, <laughs> which I do not recommend you do, um, if you love your life. So, <laughs> just let them do your job, you'll get to see some exotic birds crabs and so on and so forth it is a place to visit it's very beautiful i have my sticky notes here all jumbled up the next place that you should visit if you go to jamaica is lovers leap lovers leap i am also going to drop a picture here of when me and my family went to lovers leap so the story behind Lover's Leap where two slaves fell in love, okay? It's Mizzy and Tunky. I think that's how his name is pronounced. And the slave master fell in love with Mizzy. Why am I telling you the story if you're going to go? Just a little bit, okay? So the slave master fell in love with her and he wanted to sell her man off to another plantation. And that's not going to work, honey. So they decided until debt do us part, and they went to the leap. They went over to the cliff and then they leaped together. So romantic. Okay, so that's why it's called Lover's Leap. And there's a sculpture of them right at the front of the place. You can also eat food after your tour. It is simply amazing. They do weddings there. Like any little thing that you want to have done, a wedding, birthday party, surprises, they do that there also. So Lover's Leap is a place to visit. The view is amazing. The sunrise and the sunset. And it, it's, it's looking over the sea. It's like so high up. It's really cool. So if you're worried about the heat of Jamaica, you need to go to Lover's Leap. Amazing. Next place is for sea lovers. And this is Pelican Bar. <laughs> Believe it or not, I live so close to have access to go to Pelican Bar when I was living in Jamaica and I didn't get to go. I guess I was too busy. Who knows what? Um, so it's a bar off the coast of Jamaica out into the water. So you take some little boats and they bring you out there. Um, you can go swimming, snorkeling. Um, it's pretty shallow and they, they do food. So you can go with your friends okay and just have a beer and eat some lobster or any food that you wish they do it out there but mostly seafood and just chill you know take a dip just just watch the sunset it's it's beautiful out there i'll also drop pictures for this right beside me here 
And yeah, so Pelican Bar, you can, you can access it from Treasure Beach. And that's where I'm going to go to next. Treasure Beach, um, you will want to visit. It's a few different beaches, which is free. And if you really want an authentic experience, you get to blend with the citizens of Jamaica. Um, it's a nice place to go. They do have restaurants along some of the beaches. So after you go to the free beach and enjoy yourself, if you want to go to a restaurant and then eat on the beach, then that's fine too. There are a couple places like, mm, I'm not getting paid for this. So there's like a couple places like um, Frenchman Bay, okay, and all those nice other places that are so fun to eat at. You definitely should go to Treasure Beach. It's, it's, it's a nice chill spot. And on the holidays, they bring like speakers out on the beach. So if you happen to be in Jamaica on the holiday and don't want to spend much money, you could just go down to Treasure Beach. There's going to be speakers. There's going to be people um, cooking. And if they're cooking, the food is not going to be as expensive as if you go to a restaurant. So that's something to look forward to. Now we have the Blue Lagoon. Okay. Once known as the blue hole but we had this um, movie that was at there if you haven't seen it yet you should see the blue lagoon um so that's why they changed the name from the blue hole and it's fresh mineral water that runs into the sea simply amazing depend on what the sun light is gazing down on the water it could be turquoise um sapphire or royal blue so just imagine how beautiful that is there's a part where you can just dive off into the hole so beautiful guys so that's something that you need to look forward to they do do boat rides all they do do they do boat rides also and bamboo rafts so it is something to look forward to yeah my sticky notes <laughs> if you love reggae you should know that trench town is where reggae was born and you know 56 our 56 hope road was where it went to live bob marley museum that's where you should visit if you really love reggae and we know bob marley have most some most amazing reggae music it's you should visit it it's amazing it's his museum where you the tour guides will tell you much more about his history his growing up how he got to where he's at, listen to a few of his music, learn more about the famous Bob Marley, feel closer to him than ever. You know, I know when you're listening to Bob Marley music, you feel close to him, but when you go to his museum, it just feels like you were there with him along his journey. So that's another thing that you can, um, oh, this rocking chair is so come. I'm always rocking. So that's something else that you can look um, forward to. Another thing is Blue Mountain, Blue Mountain Peak, okay? It's well known for its coffee, and if you go to Jamaica, you should try Blue Mountain Coffee. Um, um, it's um, the highest mountain range in the Caribbean, okay? It's the highest mountain range is, the, range is in the Caribbean, and um, the sunset is beautiful there. On a clear day, you can see on a clear day, on its highest peak, you can see Cuba and Haiti. So that's something to look forward to. You can go for a hike. You know, you go to Jamaica for vacation. So you have the time when you party and then you want to know more about the country. So you can go for a hike. And depending on how clear the day is, you may see Cuba and Haiti. Hope you enjoy, guys. Okay. So we have the Duns River Falls. Amazing. It is so beautiful. It's such a, what should I say? Tall, long. It's a tall, long fall. It's, it's, um, it's beautiful. Me and my family also went there. I'll put a picture here of what Duns River looks like. It's bigger than Wyatt's Falls. It's a very famous fall in Jamaica. There's place for kids to be. The fall comes down and it goes into the sea. So you can start off by enjoying yourself down by the sea. Then you have tour guides that bring you up the fall. Um, and you can also do it yourself because 
I think it's pretty safe. I did it when I was four months pregnant. Because <laughs> there's these ridges that they make in the rocks for you to put your foot into. And there's also stuff for you to hold on to. So I think it's pretty safe. The water is so cool. And if you don't feel like you can make the whole climb, there's, there's exit points. So if you don't want to start from the bottom, you can like enter um in the middle or if you've climbed halfway and don't feel like you can do the whole falls because let me tell you it's a workout but it's worth it you can um come off at one of those at one of those exit points it's amazing the rose hall great house if you're jamaican you know wicked honey white or paisan <laughs> You know, Annie White um, was a slave owner and she went through three husbands. They all died from something. <laughs> it was said that she poisoned her three husbands. She was in love with um, a slave and yeah, I think the last one, some history was there where People are saying that she got the slave to kill the last one and then got somebody else to kill the slave and on the way throwing away the body, she sent slave to get rid of the bodies and when those slaves were coming back, she had other people kill those slaves. So we don't know where her husbands are buried, nor her lover. <laughs> it's a smart way to do it. Wicked lady though. It's a very, so the house, it's a huge house. It was a plantation. Um, they have most of the original walling and bedding still. It's a lot of history there. And if you want to know more about Jamaica, you should definitely should visit Rose Hall Great House. Okay. Rio Grande. Okay. If you're into river rafting, okay. It's the birthplace for river rafting. Okay. Because back in the days, they used to take bamboos um, to get bananas from one destination to the other and you'll have that same experience, okay? Because you'll sit in the bamboo and then you have a person, you know, bring you along the river. It is beautiful. You should visit there. So that's one of the places that I really do recommend. And yeah, my sticky notes, they're everywhere now at this point. But those are all the places that I think you should visit. In Jamaica don't miss out on them and I think that's it guys that's it there's a lot more places there's a lot more local places and there's a lot more tourist attraction um, if you like this video and would want me to do another one I have no problem with doing that so just show me some love and let me know if you go to these places let me know if you visit Jamaica you love it I'm sure you will. You went to these places. You enjoy yourself. And yeah, just bring me along the journey with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up. Like, follow, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, stay iry. <laughs> Bye.